Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm going to talk everything about anti-aging since you guys had a lot of questions about when to start anti-aging products, what are the correct products to start with, what age should you be using, what and how can you push the entire process of aging. I'm going to be talking about everything in detail. Not just that, I'm going to very simply put a little bit about the skin's anatomy as well because that's very important for you to understand before you get into the entire uh, anti-aging and skincare game in general. I promise to not complicate it and in fact make it more simpler for you. And I'm also going to be linking a couple of my previous videos somewhere on the screen right here and also in the description box for you to refer to where I've already suggested products uh, that I feel would work well. Now, if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've also hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram account. And now, without further ado, let's dive right into this video. First, let's dive in and talk about the skin's anatomy and understand the three main layers of skin. And I promise, like I said, to not complicate this. In fact, simplify it for you guys so that you understand when to use anti-aging products, what are the right products and how they penetrate into your skin. The first and the outermost layer of the skin is called epidermis. It has three main cells. The brick-like cells are called keratinocytes, built up the biggest part of epidermis. The keratinocytes produce keratin, which is a tough fibrous protein, and its main purpose is to provide protection against various external damages, such as UV rays, heat, bacteria, and fungi. The second main layer of the skin is called dermis. It is the thickest part of the skin. Dermis has many important components like hair, hair muscles, sebaceous gland, nerve, nerve endings, sweat glands and sweat ducts. All these important structures are surrounded by a tough fiber called collagen. Collagen fibers bind water, giving the skin its strength. Underneath the dermis, there's a thick fatty layer called hypodermis, which is the third main layer of the skin. It contains coarse bundles of collagen. The appearance of the skin is also affected by the hypodermis and changes in fat content and hydration level and can show up as lumpy or wrinkled skin. Now, anti-aging, in my opinion, is done in three different stages of your life and it starts as early as your teenage days. So the skincare routine that you will follow in your teenage days could ideally be a very simple one at that. I have done a full video on uh, what my recommendations are for a skincare routine for teenagers. I'm going to link that video right here, but it's got to be simple. The first step should be cleansing. That's really important. Then toning, then moisturizing, and then using a sunscreen, which is very, very important. The last and the most important thing, which a lot of teenagers forget, is having a good diet. Now, why do I say this is the prevention stage? Is because if you take care of your skin in your teenage days, likelihood is that you will have to spend a lot less money and time later in your life because you would have done a lot for your skin while it is at its prime and at its best. Now, a couple of things that I can suggest in this video, I have done a full video on face washes, on moisturizers, on toners. So I'm not going to go into the detail of it. In fact, I'm going to link it right about here, but I am going to suggest very quickly some of the things that I feel work really well for teenagers. For a face wash, for example, if you want something that's budget friendly, I highly recommend the Himalayan Neem face wash. This is really gentle on the skin. Now it's up to you, which is the kind of face wash that you like to use for your skin, because it could be different if you have acne prone skin, if you have... Um, very dry skin combination skin. Again, I've given options in my top 10 face washes video, which like I said, I'm going to link up. The toners that I think work really well for teenagers because at that time you don't really need a lot of hydration, but you need something to maintain the pH of your skin. The best thing to use is a rose water. And I personally, like you already know, love the Kama Ayurveda rose water. It's pure, it's steam distilled, works really well, also will hydrate your skin. The second toner that again is affordable and something that I really would recommend if you have acne prone skin or active acne is the Vilva Tea Tree Toner and this is basically tea tree water. It really would help prevent acne as well. Uh, the moisturizer, I have two here, one which is extremely pocket friendly and something I've spoken about in the past as well is the Pond's Super Light Gel. Really, really like this moisturizer. 
I still use it, have used about two tubs. This is also almost about to get empty. And the second one is a little bit on the higher end of things. But again, if you are someone who can splurge or want to splurge, this is something that I personally really like and I feel works on many different skin types. I'm talking about the Clinique 72 Hour Surge Moisturizer. Now you don't necessarily need to splurge. The only thing you need to keep in mind that you're hydrating your skin. You don't need to go overboard, you don't need to overspend, but you definitely need to keep up the hydration. The last step of your skincare, that's irrespective of your age, but if you're a teenager and you took care of this in your teenage days, trust me guys, you would land up saving your skin with so much trouble in the future, and that is using a sunscreen. I cannot stress enough on the importance of using a sunscreen, whether you're indoors or outdoors, and the one that I really like is the Love Shield Sunscreen Gel SPF 40. This is perfect SPF whether you're indoors or even outdoors and this has a PA triple plus. It has broad spectrum UVA and UVB filters. Please make sure that your sunscreen has broad spectrum UVA and UVB filters. Now the reason why your skin gets damaged in the teenage days if you're not wearing a sunscreen is that the UVA UVB rays penetrate into your skin. So not just on your topmost layer of the skin which is epidermis, but further down into the dermis as well. And hence, it damages the skin. If you guys remember a little bit of a recap from what I showed you about the skin anatomy, the dermis has the structure of collagen around it. Now, if you're not wearing sunscreen on a daily basis, at the teenage days, you will land up spoiling your skin. Now, I don't just mean early signs of aging. You can also have hyperpigmentation early in your life and a lot of other skin concerns. So wearing a sunscreen, irrespective of what your age is, is really, really important. You can also consult your dermatologist to see what sunscreen works for you. Other than Love Shield, the other sunscreen that I really like is the Neutrogena and uh, the other one would be Suncross. All these three sunscreen work really well and you can pick any of your choice, like I said, but do not forget to wear a sunscreen, whether you're indoors and outdoors. A lot of people make this mistake because these days we are indoors and I have stressed on this fact more than enough that even indoors, because we have glass windows and glass doors all around the house, uh, UV and UVB rays penetrate glass as well. So if you're not wearing a sunscreen indoors and you're doing everything to protect your skin, all the good skincare, everything goes down the drain, guys. So in your teenage days in specific, I see a lot of teenagers don't wear sunscreen. This is one important tip that you've got to keep in mind. And lastly, taking a good diet. Uh, we are in a fast-paced life. We tend to eat up a lot of junk food. I am not saying that you should not indulge yourself, but keep it low when it comes to sugar because that eventually will age your skin a lot faster. Also try and exercise, keep yourself fit because your sweat glands need to sweat and hence they will keep your skin a lot more cleaner. Keep a clean, good diet at least six days a week. You can binge on at least once a week, but ideally... Uh, eat good home-cooked meals. I have done a video on what I eat in a day, which I'm going to link right about here. So you can refer to that video as well. Moving on to the next stage, and that is from your 20s until your 30s. Now, this is the age where you will not just do prevention of aging, you will also maintain your skin. Now, in addition to whatever we've discussed, you also definitely have to cleanse, stone, moisturize and use a sunscreen. In addition to this, you can use a vitamin C serum, which I feel is a beautiful uh, product as a serum. It reverses sun damage. I have spoken about vitamin C at length and I am going to be doing a video on serums. Uh, but I personally really feel that it's an excellent anti-aging product as well, a lot more milder. And you can use vitamin C from anywhere between 23, 24 years of age. Not just that, it also works on a lot of skin concerns like hyperpigmentation being one of them and one of the most common concerns in India in particular. The other important thing to note is increase your hydration, which you use into your skin, meaning use a more hydrating moisturizer. You could even use facial oils, but I really highly recommend using something which has humectants in it. 
Basically, what a humectant does it, it absorbs moisture from the air into your skin. The other important question that comes up very often is, can you use retinol? Of course, you can use retinol and a lot of dermatologists uh, recommend using retinol as early as 20 years. Honestly, for me, I never felt gravitated towards using retinol because I felt a vitamin C serum worked very beautifully for me and it has multi-purpose benefits. So it's not just anti-aging, it will reverse sun damage. It also brightens the skin, also takes care of a little bit fine lines if you have on your skin, any sort of scars. Uh, also, if you have hyperpigmentation. So vitamin C is something that's a lot more milder and worked a lot better for me. Having said that, if you are someone who wants to go the retinol way, definitely can. I will be talking about at length uh, uh, about the serums that I personally really like, but obviously the vitamin C serum that I have recommended more than enough on my platform and like quite a lot is the Claire's vitamin C. Now, since this is out of stock quite a lot, the other alternative equally good in terms of formulation is the Suganda antioxidant vitamin C serum. I don't have it here, but I have used an entire bottle of it and I have my second bottle going on right now. Really, really like that vitamin C as well. Beautiful formulation, generally just like Suganda formulations as well. Last but not the least, uh, definitely one more thing that you can include in your skincare in your late 20s, in my opinion, would be a chemical exfoliator. Now, I have done a full video on exfoliations, both chemical and physical form of it, and I'm going to link it right above here. Now, all of the things that I'm sharing with you, none of this is necessary, guys. Please see what your skin wants and what your skin is adhering to what your skin is accepting. Please do patch test on each and everything when you introduce it into your skincare. If you have questions, please do ask your dermatologist and especially if you have very sensitive skin. Now, chemical exfoliation is something I started very recently for that. Physical exfoliation worked very well for me. In fact, even now, I like to go on and do physical exfoliation a lot more than I actually use chemical exfoliation. So it really depends on your skin, what your skin needs. Again, I've spoken about AHAs and BHAs at length in my exfoliations video, so you can definitely go ahead and refer to that video. The third stage would be your 30s to 40s, which is the time when you want aging reversal. So this is the time, especially later, uh, in, late in your 30s, when you will start seeing signs of aging on your skin in the sense where you will see a little bit of fine lines and crow's feet. Now, I personally feel that if you have taken care of your skin, like I said, and especially if you've worn your sunscreen very religiously in your teenage days, you are likely to not face this problem in your early 30s. But if you are someone who has absolutely not worn sunscreen in your early 20s and in your teenage days, you are likely to face uh, early signs of aging. And uh, that is something that I've seen very commonly in friends and family. Now, a couple of things that you can do, of course, a vitamin C serum, like I said, is anti-aging. I feel chemical exfoliation for an aging skin helps as well, especially if you have premature signs of aging. But again, the kind of chemical exfoliation that you will need is something that's dependent on your skin. In general, if you are someone who has a little bit of a tough skin or you do get a lot of flaky skin, it's a good idea to just exfoliate your skin. It's up to you whether you want to use a chemical or physical exfoliator. Again, you can refer to the video, uh, which I'm going to link right above here. The other thing that I feel you definitely should increase and increase by leaps and bounds is the hydration into your skin. Again, something with humectants and that's really going to boost up the hydration into your skin. Hydration is point number one and that starts from 20 years of age. If you just increase hydration, that's going to give you great results. And the other thing that if you want to include a serum could definitely be, like I said, from 23, 24 years of age, a good vitamin C serum and you are good to go. Not to forget, irrespective of your age, you have to wear a sunscreen. In your 30s to 40s, a good thing to do, a good practice to do is use a facial oil at night. Now, there are a lot of anti-aging oils. Vitamin E oil is something that you can use at any age. It's the mildest oil you can even use as a teenager. If you are someone who has very dry skin, vitamin E oil in winters, for me, works beautifully, even in summers, except if it's very, very humid, it does not work on my combination skin. Otherwise, it's an excellent oil. It's anti-aging benefits. Uh, it also will treat any sort of scars, acne scars on your face. The other oil that I really like is safflower oil. Again, I am going to do a video on facial oils, my favorite oils. That's also coming up very soon. 
but safflower oil is something that I absolutely love. And lastly, a good rosehip oil. Rosehip oil obviously has anti-aging benefits. And I am going to show you a couple of options that I have here. No surprises. The brand that I'm going to talk about is uh, Dewey Herbs because I absolutely love how beautiful their oils are. So this is the vitamin E oil from Dewey Herbs. The other oil is the safflower oil. Again, from the brand Dewey Herbs, I have also shown their rosehip oil, which you can include in your skincare. The other good thing that you can do is at night when you use this facial oil, any of the facial oils of your choice, you could just use any massaging technique. You could either use your hands, just simply your hands or your thumb to massage your face or the best thing to do is if you have the budget uh, and you want to, you could invest in a facial roller. There are jade rollers and there are uh, your rose quartz roller. There are also gua sha's. So you could use some sort of uh, a facial roller or sort of a facial massage technique. Now that is really good in order to absorb any sort of hydration into your skin. And if you're using any sort of facial massaging technique, it helps all the skincare that you put on your face penetrate deep into your skin. So guys, with that, it's a wrap. I really do hope that you enjoyed watching this video on anti-aging and how can you prevent premature aging and uh, push the entire aging process altogether. Lastly, would definitely want to stress on the fact, save yourself all the trouble and wear sunscreen each and every day. Especially if you're a teenager and you're listening to me, make sure that you're wearing a sunscreen irrespective whether you're indoors or outdoors. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. And until I see you next, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.